here in this absolutely not staged way of me proving that I can also play classical piano. Today I wanted to talk about how to improve practicing on piano so that you can get better in a relatively short amount of time. And to kind of explain where I'm getting from, when I was seven I had my first piano lessons and I absolutely hated it. <laughs> it was so boring to me, I didn't understand why you would really do it. And I kind of managed to manipulate my piano teacher into playing for me instead of me practicing in the lessons. And that's really not the way you should go about this. So I stopped after a while. And then about four years ago, I decided, okay, I want to practice again. I like this, this is cool, I want to play the piano. I started and it took me so long because everything that I had learned in that short amount of time I actually played piano, I had forgotten at that point. So I was extremely slow at sight reading. I mean, I'm still learning. I'm not at the speed I want to be at yet, but it's it has gotten so much better. Actually, fun fact, because I couldn't read the sheet music the way it was here, I managed to think of an absolutely new system how to write notes down, just so that I didn't have to learn the way it is here. So I was bad at sight reading. <laughs> and apart from that, my technique was also obviously not that great. And to kind of give you a better idea how I played, I'm going to show you a clip I'm not too embarrassed to show. But you can really tell how I'm not secure at playing all the notes. I kind of play a bit like a robot. And now here's a clip of me playing now. improve over time. And that's all possible because three years ago I started having piano lessons and my piano teacher passed the wisdom on how to improve playing piano onto me and now I'm giving it to you. <laughs> and as I conveniently place the book right here, this is the book you need to play piano well. It's called The Little Fishner 48 Practice Pieces for the Piano. And this book right here is great for beginners, more advanced people and experts. It's just that good. And I know maybe if you're a beginner you might be thinking, well, experts can still use this, this will be very hard. And if you are an expert, you're probably thinking, this is called the little pishna. Why should I play something that has the word little in it? I'm an expert. Because I was kind of thinking this, honestly, because the little pishna sounds like you're playing something on the level of twinkle, twinkle, little star, but let me assure you, that's not the case at all. So, to kind of answer the question, yes and no, it's kind of hard, but not too hard. But you're still learning so much from this. The pieces in here are gradually getting harder and harder, so you can kind of choose the level you're at. And if you're bad at sight reading, this right here is also helping so much, because you're starting with very easy things, which are kind of scales, but not really. And so you can kind of learn all the notes and improve with that. And as it progresses, it gets harder. But now beware, there is a second book, which I also have conveniently placed here, which pretty much looks exactly the same. And when my piano teacher said, Nina, you should start learning with Pishna, I didn't know which one of those to get. So if you are also in that position, get the little Pishna. Don't give yourself the stress with this book right here. This one is hard enough. Like, if you're properly doing all the exercises, your fingers will hurt afterwards. So you're already learning a lot with those. If you are a beginner and intermediate player, those are pretty much impossible to play at first. Um, at least at the speed you're supposed to play them at. You will be very, very slow and I don't think it would be very beneficial. Because the reason why there are two books, the technical studies one was written first and then because too many people complained that it was too hard, Pishna had to write this one to prepare people to be able to play that one, so begin with this one. <laughs> and just so you get an idea how those exercises are, I'm going to show you a few of them so you will get a better idea 
how the difficulty levels are. So let me start with the first one. It starts so easy. Then number seven. Number 19. So, I guess that's it from me. I hope you liked this video and could learn something from it. Unless you're one of my family members uh, or friends, then you're probably just watching to support me. Thank you very much for that, by the way. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see more videos about piano, piano technique, me playing or something like that, then please tell me. I will gladly do so. Yeah, if you like this video, then please click the like button. And also subscribe so you will see my future videos. And I guess that's it for this video. See you. Bye.